What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and today I wanted to show you guys how to set a static IP address on Ubuntu 22.04 Server Edition. So let's get started. So welcome back to the channel. Uh, I typically do this every time there is a new release of Ubuntu because a lot of people want to know how to set a static IP address on the server edition for 22.04. It's new people every single day, you know, trying out Linux for the very first time and they may want to try a server edition and they're probably wondering how to set that static IP address, you know, on your Ubuntu server. It's a very simple process. Uh, I'll go through this step by step and I also have a github that you guys can check out that has the example configuration file on there and I'll pull it up during the instructional of this video but let's go down and hop over to my Ubuntu 22.04 server and get started all right cool so I'm logged into my Ubuntu 22.04 server uh, via SSH and right now it has a DHCP you know ip address is basically when you when you install ubuntu it'll go down and create a configuration file for a dhcp connection which basically allows the router to assign an ip address to the server but in certain cases you want to have a static ip address especially if you're planning on hosting out uh let's say websites uh in any way a lot of times you want to have a static ip address that way the ip address doesn't change and people can constantly find your server on your network, especially if you have it, you know, to where it can be connected to from outside of your network. Because if you don't go in and do the configuration on your router and set an IP address, then the router will most likely assign a new IP address. You know, if it's either restored it or something to that effect, it'll assign a new IP address to all the DHCP servers our systems that are on the network so it's kind of important to understand how to do this uh, in case you run into one of those scenarios where you need a static ip address so the first step is to actually find out what the ip address is for your server as well as the device name so it's a simple command there is in a command called ip and i've done videos just showing you guys the ip command uh, it's a very simple command. It, it allows you to manage your network devices. Uh, find out it's kind of like IF config or IP config on Windows. Uh, it pulls in that IP information for the network device on your system. So let's run IP space A, press enter. And as you can see, it'll pull in all the devices. It pulls in the loopback address as well as the main network device address and this is the device name right here and this is what we're actually looking for because we need this in the configuration file to set our ip address because in the configuration file you have to specify okay this is the device name and then we want to set the ip address for this device name uh and so that's the simplest way of actually getting the information uh but you want to type that down it's basically ens18 it could be different on your system it all depends on the device as well as the operating system you're using um, and then this is the DHCP address. As you can see, I have a 192.168.10.132. Well, this is my uh, home address network. Um, that's the IP address that's assigned to this system, but it, you at least get the network mask as well as the network. And this is essentially the network right here. So 192.168.10. So I have a 10 network. Uh, and you wanna pick out whatever static IP address you wanna set. Uh, because we're going to need that in the configuration file as well. Uh, you want to find out what IP address is available that you want to set as a static IP address for this system. Write that down and then we can go into the configuration file at this point. Now, as I stated, there is a configuration file that's created for DHCP. So let me go down and show you guys that right fast. And I'm going to type cat and then the location to the configuration file for it is under etc and then net plan is the actual directory that we're looking for and you kind of the easiest way to find out what the the file name is just uh hit the tab key twice and this will show you what's in there and as you can see it's only one file and it'll bring that file up well this is the 
DHCP configuration file and it's a YAML file it's a type of language that they write and NetPlan uses YAML for its configuration files and so as you can see it's set to DHCP and, and we have all the information we need there that's the device name and then as you can see it's set to DHCP true uh, and what we're trying to do is create a static configuration file in that same location so what i typically do is back up that file so we could just hit the up arrow and we could type uh sudo uh copy and then i'm gonna I'm actually remove this file in a minute but i just wanted to at least show you how to back up that file if you ever need it again uh but uh let's put it in that same location so etc uh net plan and then what I typically do with backups, I'll put like BCK on the end of it. So dot BCK. And that way the system doesn't recognize it as a file and it doesn't look at it as a YAML file and actually try to pick up that configuration. You know, that's essentially just a backup of the file. And essentially you want to back this up in case you ever want to go back to DHCP. Uh, then you could just move this back into the place uh, and remove your static config or back up your static config and then put this back in place restart the computer and you'll be good to go so let's press enter uh type in our pseudo password press enter and now we're good to go so let's uh actually i'm gonna uh ls that directory right fast and actually let's back off of this boom back off of this and then we can ls this directory that way we can see both our files so we have our um original configuration and we have our backup configuration so now uh right now it's going to continue using what's in that configuration it's loaded into memory and that's the configuration set for this system so it doesn't matter if we delete it right now uh because it won't recognize a new configuration until we reboot the server or we run another command it's called network net plan apply that will apply the new configuration file uh, but it'll continue using the current one so what i'm gonna do is remove it now so let's just hit up arrow and then i'm gonna back off this portion of the command and let's just delete that file right fast um and let's go back to the front we can hit remove and i'll remove that file and we'll still be connected to the server as long as we don't run any other commands or reboot the server otherwise you'll lose your ip address so just be careful with this don't don't do anything until you finish this next configuration uh, otherwise you could lose connection to the server uh, because it's looking cut for that configuration file you know what i'm saying if you reboot the system and it's not going to know what to do at this point so let's go down and create a new file under the same directory and let's just type sudo nano and then under the etc directory net plan let's create a new file called static dot yaml and press enter boom and we're good to go so this will create our new configuration file in order to set our static ip address now, before I do anything, I wanted to show you guys where you can get a sample of the configuration. Now, if you go to my GitHub page, just search for uh, Keep It Techie, or I'll put the link down in the description of the video to my uh, GitHub page. But as you can see, I have a Ubuntu server config uh, folder. And I'm supposed to be adding more, you know, configuration files here. I just haven't had the chance to go through and, and upload uh, things that I use. You know what I'm saying? But this is the static.yaml file. So just go on and find this. Uh, go to my, yeah, my GitHub page. Find this file. And then this is an example of the YAML configuration file for a static IP address. So let's go to raw. Let's click on raw. That way we can copy the actual uh, file. Or not the file, but copy the information uh, that's there. And let's go down and paste it into our file boom and let's go in here hit paste boom so we had that information there um and essentially this is correct the only thing that's different or the only thing we really have to modify is the device name as well as our ip addresses uh gateway um and our uh other addresses are good but i'll show you guys step by step but under version two uh renderer network d 
Ethernet. Uh, and this is our device name. So we want to change that. That's why I said we have to look for that. But our device name was ENS18. Uh, That's our device name. And now we can go into our address. Let's set our IP address. So um, like I said, you got to make sure you know what your network is. Uh, mine is 192.168.10. And then uh, whatever IP address you want to set it at. So 212 is what I'm going to use. I know that's outside of a range um, that I'm using for, on my network. And then also we need to set our gateway. So gateway four uh, is basically, it's probably the first IP address in, on your network. Uh, if you have a different gateway, then you probably know what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? But most people's gateway is probably the first IP address on the network. And most people have a 1.1 1 .1 or something to that effect. Or it could be a 0 0.1. I've seen people networks like that. But mine is a 10.1. Uh, so just ignore it. But this is the network mask. So mine is 24, uh, which we seen when we ran the IP-A command or space A command. Now this search portion, we really don't need. I'm gonna go down and delete that off. Uh, so let's just hit the delete file. And you really don't wanna play around with this file too much because it's, um, it's spaced out a certain way with gamma is very sensitive to uh spaces and tabs and all that stuff and it will not will not recognize those tabs you have to put spaces in there it's it's a weird language uh the way it writes or the way it's written and then the last thing uh i put this in quotes but we have our um dns servers so you want to set dns servers uh you can set them to whatever uh, this is Cloudflare's uh, IP addresses for their DNS servers. So uh, that's essentially what that is. Uh, now you can use uh, Google's, some people use Google's, but some people you know, are concerned about privacy, so they won't use Google's or recommends you Google's. I always recommend Cloudflare's anyway, because it's a little bit faster, um, at least in my experience, uh, as far as resolving uh, websites and all that stuff. So. Uh, let's hit control X because we're done. Uh, we're done with the configuration. So let's hit control X and then let's press Y to write out those changes to that actual file that we created. Press enter and we're good to go. And now that that's done, if I actually run the command to apply those changes uh, currently, it's going to lock up my SSH uh, connection. So let me actually switch over to the the server itself i'm logged in over here as well uh so it's kind of small i know you guys won't be able to see it as well but the command is simply run and i just want to show it to you and actually let's go back to the terminal i'm gonna show you there i'm gonna type it in there first uh so you guys can see it but i'm not gonna press enter because it's gonna lose the connection but it's it's simply sudo uh net plan plan apply apply and if you press enter there, it's gonna reset your uh, network connection or your connection to the system. Uh, and it'll change the IP address of the server. And since I'm connected via SSH, uh, it's gonna lock up my terminal, uh, which I do not wanna do. Uh, so just understand if you connect it to something SSH, uh, you might not wanna run that, you wanna run it while you physically connect it to the server uh, via keyboard, mouse, and monitor. Otherwise, you're going to lose or it's going to lock up your SSH connection. Now, it does. It, it really doesn't matter uh, if you run it. You can kill the terminal. I, I'm, I'm only doing it this way for the video so you guys can see it. But I would typically just run it here and I know what my IP address is for this new server or for this server that I set the IP address. So I'll just kill the terminal, then type in the new IP address and be able to connect back to the server. But let's switch over to the actual server itself and type it in right fast so it's sudo uh, net plan apply and press enter and the reason i wanted to show you guys this because uh sometimes it'll run into um you'll run into maybe a error or a warning or something to that effect and you want to make sure you know that the system is good to go and as you can see, yeah, you'll see this uh, this warning there. 
but just ignore it. Uh, it's basically saying the gateway for has been deprecated. Uh, use default route instead. Um, I know I typed it in right, but I have started seeing that warning pop up every now and then. Uh, so uh, actually, and another way to kind of make sure it works or whatever, or it's you know set fully, uh, you can just run a reboot uh, of the system, and that way. Uh, that don't let you know for sure that it worked because your system will fail if it doesn't come up properly So that's why you want to make sure you type in all the information as well with any configuration file um, So it'll get that IP address that we set on a static network on a static uh, Configuration file as you can see right now is is uh, <laughs> it was a little stuck because it's it's pulling in that new configuration uh, so Let's switch back over to the terminal so you guys can see fully what I'm doing. So let's log back into this thing. Let's type SSH and then let's type 192.168.10 and let's go down and type in our new IP address of 2012 or 212. So let's press enter. Uh, as you can see, uh, we have a new IP address or we connect it to the server using a new IP address. And then we can run our IPA command again and we should be able to see our static ip address and there it is right there so that's what we put in the configuration file you know and that's what it changed this server to so we are good to go we have a static ip address on ubuntu 22.04 so i hope you guys enjoyed the video that's a very simple you know way of setting the static ip address in linux there are multiple ways of doing something we could have used the nm uh client or a cli command as well to set the static ip address but i found this one to be the easiest way to explain uh so you guys can actually get it and set your servers static ip address you know no problem using a simple configuration file that you can follow and then i also you know like i said i'll have the link down in the description to my configuration file or sample configuration file that you guys can just copy and paste in that new static uh .yaml file in order to set your static ip address on your server and you can modify that as much as you want you know change it up however you want to uh like i said you got to make sure that device name is right uh and set the ip addresses based on your network at your house you know what i'm saying because it won't work if your system is not set up the exact same as mine you know what i'm saying so you want to make sure you set everything up uh to your liking for your server so Hope you guys enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe to the channel if you have any questions leave comments down in the comments below and of course keep it techy